There is this metal in your body which if exposed to water near you could literally kill you. And this is that metal. And in this video, I would demonstrate what exactly happens and by the end of this video, you would know everything that you have to know about what exactly happens when sodium comes in contact with water, the reaction, the explosion and your marks in ITG. Just kidding. So for us to perform the experiment, we would simply need a beaker full of water. You can have distilled water sample or normal tap water and a sample of sodium. That's it. Usually we don't have sodium exposed to air because this reaction can happen and that's why it's usually put inside paraffin because then surface sodium metal ka cover up ho jata hai aur reaction nahi hoti. I always wondered how much time a sodium lump will take to disappear when it is exposed to air. So I took a sodium lump, placed it into a china dish and took it into the park, exposed it to the air and waited for it to disappear. It took almost 12 hours to disappear. Can you tell me the number of atom that has been oxidized in this reaction? It's almost 0.1 mole of sodium that has been oxidized. That means 6 into 10 power 22 atoms. So inside a glass container submerged in the paraffin lies a shiny metal sodium. Or in this reaction, mein, acidic hydrogen gains an electron and gets converted into atomic hydrogen. And if you understand this concept, this reaction, then those topics of JE Advance like uh, Grignard region and tautomerism become very easy for you. But before that, let us recall where is sodium in periodic table. Metal hone ke baad bhi sodium ko melt karna asaan hai because it has a low melting point of 371 Kelvin aur iske piche weak metallic bonding reason hai. Molten sodium metal is rapidly oxidized and the process is highly exothermic. As you can see, there is a large amount of energy being released. And even the fire extinguisher is not able to reduce the flame easily. Now, sodium ke chote se tukde ko pani se bhare beaker mein dalte hain aur sizzling sound aane lagti hai. And yeh sizzling sound kafi exciting hai because I know that this sample can ignite any time. And now it's time for reactions. I said reactions because there is more to it than just explosion. We are going to perform this reaction multiple times just so we can show you everything that can possibly happen. This type of reaction depends on several factors like good source of electrons and good source of acidic hydrogens. This is the simplest reaction in NCRT, but here is what you don't know. The most powerful traps in JEE main and advanced chemistry are given by this concept and the best example is Tautomerism and Grignard reagent reactions. And if you really understand this reaction, then these questions become very easy for you. Are you ready? Yes sir. Do you have a chance? Ready? But what exactly is happening? As the sodium reacts with water, it releases hydrogen gas and forms sodium hydroxide, a caustic alkaline solution. 
The rapid production of hydrogen gas causes the intense bubbling and fizzing, while the flame is a result of the ignition of hydrogen by the heat generated from the reaction. So this was about sodium. But tell me, do you think that potassium will behave in the same way? And guess in the comments, mein ye batao ki what will happen if I mix sodium and potassium together? Well, we will find out what happens in the next video.